Today we'll be talking about penny stock Helium 1 Global, ticker HE.1 in the UK or HLOGF on the US OTC markets. Could be in for a mammoth 2022. In this video we'll look at why that will be, what strategies could be employed, and the outcomes that could await potential investors. Before we can understand all the contextual factors, we need a brief background on the company. They hold 19 prospecting licenses covering over 4,500 square kilometers in Tanzania. One of the regions, Rukwa, is verified to be home to the largest known primary helium resource in the world. Their current task is to figure out the best way to get it out of the ground. Research currently defines the unraced recoverable helium resource at around 138 billion cubic feet. This compares to current global use of around 6.2 billion annually. With current production at a similar level, obviously they cannot extract it all at once, and in their current writings they speculate at a first operational milestone of just over 5% of this annual demand. Now you may be wondering, helium? World population may be increasing, but I don't think we'll need quite so many birthday party blooms to make that such an important factor, right? But you'd be mistaken. Granted, there is no one giant use for helium, but it cannot be substituted or manufactured, and its use is on the rise in high-tech manufacturing, healthcare, and computing industries. This forecasted increase in demand is arriving amidst ongoing supply issues. The main reason for this is that current helium production is mainly as a byproduct of hydrocarbon extraction. As the global energy mix attempts to decarbonize, this byproduct helium will not be enough to meet the growing demand, meaning there will be room in the market for projects with helium as the primary focus. Helium 1 obviously want to sound ambitious, and they have every reason to be with their potential find, but their projections have themselves as supplying over 10% of the global market as soon as 2030. This coupled with rising prices, shown by China's import prices for helium rising 66% between January 2017 and September 2020, it sounds like something very promising indeed. If we use the January 2017 price, $225 per MCF, their projected annual output would be worth around $78 million annually. If we use the price a bit below the September 2020 price, $350 per MCF, it will be worth $122 million annually. Obviously the price has many factors, but with such a large stockpile of helium, if they could ever bring a project online, it would be a cash providing asset for a very long time. Even if price and demand don't rise as anticipated, it would still be a huge revenue stream. Before we look at a few potential drawbacks, it's important we look at price history on the stock. Obviously, as an exploration stage penny stock, it's quite cheap per share, trading around 7 pence, for a total market cap of around 43 million British pounds. Even if they cannot economically retrieve all of their suspected helium, the potential value of what they have easily eclipses that figure. The share price is at the same level they started out at around one year ago after their IPO, and we can see how the price developed through their day you drilling campaign last summer. As news on their project started to come out, the price rocketed and was eventually pushing the high 20s, as investors eagerly awaited the imminent news of a globally significant, commercially viable discovery. Except the news never came. As you can see in August, there was a collapse in the price when news broke that drilling activity had concluded for the year, with no viable discovery confirmed. The reports releasing the results all sounded promising, but in the end, one sentence was enough to confirm investors' fears. Drilling was unable to continue in the next phase, in until next summer, when favourable weather conditions will return. One of the main reasons for their lack of progress was down to the drill used for the task. They have already stated plans to change their methods for next year's explorations based on what went wrong in 2021. So we see the dilemma. As with all promising growth stocks, it can be easy to get sucked in with the potential, but we all know it doesn't always go that way. The history of the price shows us that it can definitely rise and quite quickly, and I think it's important to have an exit strategy with a stock like this. Sure, it has the potential to go huge in the long term, but everyone invests with different goals and timelines in mind. One person can buy now, happy to double their money and sell into the hype at 16 pence. Another person can buy in, hold for the long haul, and hope they realize the full potential. Some may even use a mixture of the two over time. All of these approaches are equally viable. Short-term angles obviously be risky on such a volatile and news-dependent stock. Whether you buy short-term or long-haul, one thing is pretty much guaranteed, a few headaches on the way through. It's all down to preference and risk tolerance. If you're interested in growth stocks, but want one that's closer to cash generation, be sure to check out this video on a very promising looking battery technology company and why it could have a huge 2022 and beyond. And of course, let me know down below what approach you would take with Helium 1. Would you risk the price roller coaster to get some profits? 
or do you think this company has what it takes to be a multi-bagger long term? So of course we have to touch upon some drawbacks. First and foremost is the fact that they still need to have a successful exploration drilling season in 2022 before they can even make plans to turn operation. Some hesitancy after last year's failure is only natural, but with lessons learned from last year, hopefully they get the job done this time around. Even if the next drilling campaign is a success, they may need to secure further financing to take the project through to a production phase. They have funding available for the drilling campaign, however, so the company doesn't seem to be at risk of financial failure for the foreseeable future. Further funding could dilute current shareholder value, but for long-term holders, this financing would hasten their development, but it's a possibility to be aware of when deciding upon a strategy. A further risk could well be the greater institutional risk that comes with investing in a less developed country. But generally speaking, Tanzania is currently quite open to foreign business and investment. They are the fourth largest gold producer in Africa, and many multinational resource companies already operate within the country. In terms of logistics, Helium 1 will be export focused, and Tanzania's position on the east coast of Africa is actually beneficial for convenient access to multiple global markets. All in all, the stock certainly seems to have a lot going for it in the long term, and there are certainly some potential short-term plays to be made as well. Unfortunately, my average buy price is a bit higher than the current price at 16 pence, and low liquidity on the stock has made it difficult to average down at times. Actually, I'm still relatively happy with that price, and have orders in current to try and bring that down if that will go through in time. I was looking at almost 100% returns at one point, but I didn't have an exit plan. I need to decide what my play is on this one before it heats up again. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching.